Today, guys, we're going to talk about cameras. All the different buttons and dials and things like that, that's what we're going to talk about. What are you going to, kind of going to cover? The most important thing you can do with your new camera, all right? So when you get your new one, so you can get the most out of your camera. And this is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the camera, I'm going to flip it around, get some nice close-up of, of this camera, so we can go over the button so you can see what I'm talking about a little easier. All right, I'll be right back. And here we go. This is the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark I. This is the subject camera. And the first thing we're gonna talk about is this guy here. This is the command dial. So I like to think this is uh, kind of like the penundal on your car. You know, the automatic transmission. Uh, on your car, you've got park, reverse, neutral, low one, drive, etc. So take a look at this. We've got manual. Manual means you select the shutter speed and the aperture. Okay. And then we have S. S is shutter speed priority. You pick the shutter speed, the camera picks the aperture or the lens opening. We have A for aperture or lens opening. You pick the aperture, the camera picks the shutter speed. And then of course we have P. P is for program where the camera picks the shutter speed and the aperture. Now auto is the next thing, it does the same thing, but program, you can actually shift it. So you make maybe a smaller lens opening or a larger lens opening, you can kind of shift it one way or the other. Whereas auto, you are the one that has to, uh, that's everything, it's automatic, everything. You just pick it up, point and shoot, okay? Now, not all cameras have the art filter. These are basically different filters. So when the camera creates JPEGs, it creates special JPEGs. Maybe with a certain look, like maybe a little bit more grainy or black and white or, you know, more saturated colors or something like this. Uh, a CN. I'm not quite sure what that one does. And then we also have movie, movie mode. Okay. This camera can shoot movies as well. And then you've got, you know, different modes as far as, and you go into the menu and you just, how the movie is supposed to be set up for you. Okay. Up here on the top, we have a dial. This controls either the aperture or the shutter speed. You can pick, okay? You can set it on the camera. And then this back one is another dial where it adjusts things. Uh, so I don't know if you can see this little guy here. Well, magnifying glass. So for example, you can use this to zoom in on playback. So for example, over here is the on off switch. Over here, turn it on. Now when we hit the playback button, we can use this dial and we can zoom in. Okay. So most cameras have something like that. And then up here we've got this little button here, AE, AF, auto exposure lock, auto focus lock. And you can toggle between the two up here. All right. Now, not all cameras have that feature. All right. FN, FN. Olympus has a function button. It's a programmable button. You can go into deep in the menus and uh, adjust that for various things. Maybe it's the ISO setting. ISO is the, the sensitivity of the sensor. 
Got your little info. So you can talk about the information for the particular image. Hit this again. And then you hit info. And you have either information displayed or nothing. Whatever you want. Uh, so you can delete images. And then here on the side, this is where we keep our uh, media card. This one has one. Some cameras have two media cards. All right, so I got to turn this back on. Give me a sec here. Now, when we hit this button, this is turns on the screen. So you can frame things using the screen. So if you don't want to use a screen, you can hit that. Ah, that's uh, movie mode. Okay. In, in movie mode, you don't have the option. You can only use a screen. Uh, but in manual mode, for example, the screen's on. Now it's off, which means you look through the viewfinder to frame your pictures. And this has uh, a super menu or common things you want to adjust like uh, autofocus, uh, film you know, sensitivity, not film sensitivity, digital sensor sensitivity, uh, etc. And then we're going to flip this over to the front. And this one, this little guy here, let me turn this off for a second. Now when you turn this, push this down, now you can take the lens on and off, okay? It's a little tricky doing this through the viewfinder of the video camera instead of in real life. Uh, <clears throat> All right, now the last thing I was going to show, oh, I almost forgot, the most important thing you can do with a brand new camera is actually down here. All right, this is where you keep the battery. So you might not realize this, but you need to charge up the battery from a new camera before you use it, because there's not much of a charge in the battery. Okay. Some people say that if you drain the battery without it being fully charged, that you might reduce the life of the battery. Okay. So that's the most important thing to do when you get your new camera. All right. Oh, and a really cool thing that Olympus has on some of its lenses is this guy. This is the focus ring. And pull it back. And look at that. You're in manual focus. Pull it up. And you're back in autofocus. Now you can, in addition to that, you can go into the menu and select autofocus or manual focus. All right. Now. Uh, AF, autofocus. You hold this button down and then you turn the dial and you're in manual focus or autofocus. All right, guys. So that's the basics, basic buttons for a camera. And we're glad you got new, nice new camera to play with. All right. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to flip around and we're going to finish the, uh, the video. All right. Well, there you have it. Now you understand all these little buttons here. All right. That's right. You can be a glorified button pusher. Don't you like that? Huh? Okay. So now that we've gone over that, now you understand what you can do with your camera. You can, you're, you can start taking pictures now. And um, what am I going to do in the next one? I'm not quite sure. Uh, coming up soon will be me going downtown the city of Chicago and getting pictures, okay, downtown in the city. So that's coming up soon. I'm not sure exactly when, 
and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. And uh, we will see you in the next one. Take care.